My name is Lisa Diane Wedgworth. I am a 2020 COLA Fellow. I am a native Angelino, born and raised in Los Angeles. I love this city. LA is in my blood. It's who I am. It's the energy that I carry with me. And art and LA are just intertwined for me being in the city. I love it. I'm really excited to be awarded the COLA Fellow for this year. So I'm a visual artist and I have a very interdisciplinary approach to my making. I love storytelling. The work is informed by storytelling, my own storytelling, uh, the memories, things that I overhear. And I also expand my practice to include the collection of narratives. But sometimes, I guess I came to understand uh, while working with abstraction that there wasn't a need for words. These gestures, the mark making was so rich and said everything that needed to be said. I, for me, want to just be really honest and authentic in my work. And so I knew from an early uh, start that work had to be honest. And being honest meant that I turned the lens onto myself. My paintings are six feet by six feet. They take up space wherever they are. And they, the paintings themselves, are a representation of my body, right? Of me taking up space. So it's literally my human scale. And when I stretch out my arms, you know, my arm length is also 5'11". So it's, I'm just about the size of the, the canvas. And so when I walk into a space, I take up space. I'm a tall, voluptuous woman. And these paintings are, t are big canvases. And so they become themselves, in addition to the, the geometric shape that's within the canvas, all of these become representations for me. The current work, body of work that I'm making now is very autobiographical. It's all about me and my experiences and my memory. And those are the changing statuses that I'm experiencing, right? Uh, I'm an empty nester. My daughter has moved away to college. She's in her uh, early 20s. Uh, my mother's aging. My sister is bipolar, paranoid, schizophrenic, living on the streets of Los Angeles. My roles are changing. My relationships are changing. Uh, how I engage with everyone in my family is changing, right? It became about me. So self-portrait as a levitating triangle is a triptych there. And that suite of paintings is about power. And it's about the three stages that I've identified within myself um, of accepting power. And that is acceptance, that is embracing and owning. And these paintings are, as I said, about power, but they are equally about psychological energy. And so you have the triangles that become representations of my body in this environment where there are lots of mark making. I think when I first associated being a daughter, a sister, and a mother, I was like, the triangle is it. Like, it just made so much sense to me, and it just felt right, and I could do so much with the triangle, right? So the triangle, it has three sides, but there's so much I can do with it, right? Changing its shape, the associations with it, giving a very human quality to the triangle, a triangle opening its legs. Like, who knew a triangle could open its legs? And I really love these paintings. Um, you know, I use black paint, and I've talked to folks, and they some people have seen the paintings like, oh, this is sad, or it feels depressing. And it's really because they're interpreting the color. And I, I love black. I love working with black paint because it's so much more than, than what one thinks of just one value of black, right? There, there's a range of values uh, within black, and it's not about depression. It's about power. It's about uh, uh, energy. It's about loving yourself. It's about being confident. It's about being brave. And that's what these paintings represent. And I really love making them. Being awarded the Cola Fellowship was first one of the most amazing experiences in my life. I was floored when I found out, like I did one of those ugly cries, like my face was contorted, like it was horrible, but wonderful at the same time. And uh, it was an affirmative experience, right? That a panel of peers who believed in my work, understood my work, gave me this chance and it, was, it, it is an honor. It's exciting. Being a COLA fellow and receiving the stipend has allowed me to continue working. It has allowed me to purchase materials. It has allowed me to provide for my studio. It has allowed me 
the time and the resources to experiment with my work in a way that I might not have done so before. This stipend has given me a place where I could stay rooted and work and it's just been really wonderful, really wonderful.